Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video, I'd like to uh, give you a brief uh, introduction to the ST7735. Uh, now, there's a lot of features in here, and what I thought we would do is we would start with an existing project. Now, this project is complete, uh, and the software works, and you don't have to change anything, and we can use it to discover some of the features of your display. All right, uh, so let's look at the driver called ST7735, and you can see that there's quite a few uh, commands here, like drawing circles and drawing lines and outputting characters and strings and numbers and plotting. Uh, these are all built-in commands that you can use to use on the graphics, okay? And we're going to use this existing project called ST7735 underline 4C123 to learn and test your, your hardware interface. All right, so the first thing I want to do is run it in the simulator. Okay, so I'm going to push uh, options, and over in debug, I'm going to choose the simulator, which is the Launchpad DLL that we've been using this semester. Okay, so I'm going to build it. I don't download it because I'm simulating, and then I'll debug. All right. Now, if um, if your uh, debugger doesn't show the graphics window, you can go over to peripherals and select the Citronics or the ST7735R. Okay. Um, now, this particular um, software will work, and so you can, again, explore uh, the features of the device. Now, it takes a little bit of time for this thing to initialize, well, when it does, it'll be entirely black. And depending on how fast your computer is, simulation may be very, very slow like this one, or it may be much faster. Okay. And if you don't like the speed of simulation, I'd say uh, jettison simulation completely here in Lab um, uh, 7 and go on and run it on the real board. Again, so the first step is to discover some of the software features of the ST graphics driver. All right. The second step is for you to connect the hardware. And there's a couple of places. Uh, it's in the lab manual, and it's also here in the software uh, that you can look and see how to connect it. And so I have eight wires here on my uh, interface between the graphics and the microcontroller. And those wires are the backlight, which is power, uh, the clock, which goes to PA2, um, the master out serial data, which goes to PA5, um, the chip select for the LCD, which goes to PA3, uh, the data command GPIO, which goes to PA6, the reset pin, which is connected to PA7, and power and ground. Now, when you're wiring up your device, try not to look at the pin numbers, but rather at the pin names, because it turns out there's a lot of ST7735 devices. Uh, like, here's one, and here's another, and we've been had good luck hooking up all sorts of ST7735Rs. And so, again, if you have one that doesn't look quite like these, uh, go ahead and ask your TA uh, to make sure you know how to wire it up. All right, so that's the second step, is to connect uh, the eight wires uh, between the um, liquid crystal display and the launch pad. All right, so now I'm going to run it on the board. You'll see it runs a lot faster. Okay, so uh, options, debug, board, okay. Uh, build, download, uh, debug. Okay, here we are. Okay. So again, it takes a, a fair amount of time for this thing to initialize, uh, but after it's initialized, you can see that it prints pretty fast. Okay, so here we are plotting some points on the screen. I'll go ahead and hit the go button. Okay, so in summary, this uh, we think the first thing you should do when starting Lab 7 is to get your display, wire it up, and then use this starter program to test and make sure your hardware is correct. Use this starter program to understand how it works, and then you can launch yourself into solving the Lab 7. All right, enjoy!